since I was a young boy, I wanted to, to play rugby professionally. Sport is actually all I knew. I realized that my fitness levels were going down. I uh, lost quite a lot of weight, got fatigued very easily. I actually thought to myself, listen, you're training very hard and it's in summertime, so the night sweats are because it's hot. The, the loss of weight is because you're training very hard. The tiredness was just, I thought to myself, listen, you're getting up at half past five in the morning to go and train, so it's probably that. The first diagnosis from a doctor was that I had asthma, but I told the doctor that I had asthma as a, as a child, so I know it's not asthma. You try and live a, a healthy lifestyle, and then you get diagnosed and you think to yourself, listen, yeah, but I'm young, I'm healthy, I do everything right. I try and think about that day quite a lot. I just had a sense of calmness, I don't know, I can't explain it. As soon as he told me, listen here, but you have cancer, I just felt this, this sense of ease that, listen here, everything is going to be okay. My wife's reaction was, was quite emotional and shocked in the beginning. We were married for 13 months when I was diagnosed. I really relied on her through this whole process and she was very strong. I thought to myself and I said, listen here, yeah, this is just another injury. Whatever they say, this is the diagnosis, this is what the treatment plan will be, you are going to do it in half the time. I received my first chemo session on the Monday. The Thursday I was out of hospital. When I got home, my grass was long, so I mowed the lawn. The next morning I was in the gym, so I just told myself, listen here, yeah, you are going to carry on as per usual. So I've been involved in two Relay for Lives now and every year we're just getting stronger and stronger and we just see the whole community coming together on an evening to just honour those that have lost uh, the fight against cancer or to help those that are still fighting the battle. I must say my favourite part about the Relay event is just to, to take a moment in the evening just to go and sit somewhere and when you just go there and you sit there and you take everything in you realise how how all of the work has been done and how everything just fell into place and just came up to be a, a perfect evening. My story is always the same. It's a story of motivation and hope. If you use motivation and if you have hope and you have faith, then anything is possible. I always say to people that your mind can be either your best friend or your worst enemy because whatever you believe, that is what will happen. I actually try and just stay positive and keep a positive mind at all, at all times. No matter what the situation is, I, I believe that is actually the, the, the key to success.